Elizabeth Jameson sees herself as an art activist, someone who's using visual symbolism to bridge understanding between brain disease patients and the medical professionals who treat them. Elizabeth has lived with her own chronic brain disease, multiple sclerosis, for more than 20 years in a cooperative artist studio in her San Francisco Bay Area hometown, she creates work inspired by a medical technology, bluntly revealing yet deeply intimate. I had a major MS episode where I stopped being able to talk and I developed a big lesion in the Broca's area of the brain. The inflammation of the lesion prevented me from talking as well as walking and a lot of other things. But as a lawyer, because I was a courtroom lawyer, it's very hard to be a lawyer when you can't talk and communicate. And I went through a, a real depression, thinking, my god, what am I going to do? So I signed up for a, a very inexpensive community art class. During the first class, I, fell, I absolutely fell in love. It's, I just can't explain the joy I felt having a paintbrush in my hand and opening up the paints and smelling the paints. And my life changed. I always wanted to devote my life to the poor and disenfranchised, because I figured that's what we should do with our life, is to try to make the world better. And as an artist, I felt the same thing. You know, I love painting flowers and painting people, and I love painting anything, but I figure I, I want to do something that might, might have meaning to other people and could make some impact. And what me more meaning could, could be is portray something that I was going through, and that is a brain disease. And the, for me, the symbol of MS are brain scans, because I've spent so many years in an MRI machine having my brain examined. And I thought, gee, maybe I can do something to make the scans interesting to other people and complex and less scary. I guess that's my, my number one desire, is medical students to look at my artwork and to see that the brain is beautiful. Because it is beautiful. And I've been teaching at the medical school at UCSF, and I like to think that medical students may be impressionable in terms of having them view the body in different ways than they're used to viewing it. And I would like neurologists and physicians to view my work to see if they can use softer language in talking about diagnoses. It's important to me personally, and I would like other people who have brain tumors or MS or any other brain disease to feel how ugly it is and how beautiful it is and complex it is, and to be challenged by the complexity and beauty.